Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And just a little quick video on why sometimes you would want to convert an outline to an object. If you look, this is just a 36 point line as is this. But let's take these two and go to the trim tool and you see that it trimmed away that item. If we take this one and convert it to an, that outline to an object and trim it, Look what happens now. It just trimmed out the object and not the inner. This could be very useful. Um, you know, when you're designing something like that, you go to object and break the curve apart, and then you could make this whatever color you wanted it and have a smooth transition between two objects. So this just trims away what's inside of it. And this will trim away well, it might not have worked because I already had this property let's do it right here got to make sure I select them both you get a new I mean this would be pretty handy for doing I mean this is a, a perfect curvature art because our circle is a circle you know, I can see the possibilities with this. Let's just let's just do something real quick. Give you a better idea, maybe. Let's take a rectangle or a square and hit P. Go ahead and make it black. Take away the outline. And then let's take a... And change this to like 12 point. Well, I'll make it a little bit bigger. 24 points. Go ahead and go... Scale with object or take uh, convert the outline to an object and let's have it snap. Well, you know, it's, I think I turned snap to off earlier. Yep. So now we can take this outline and have it snap to that corner. I'm just wondering if we could do all four at one time. I'm just hitting the plus key on the keyboard. And let's just see if this works. Look at that. I mean, that would be pretty helpful if you were going to do something um, like that and go to object, order back a page and have a completely different scenario and perfect curvatures. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.